What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Badger. Well, and it's Maha. And we're back at it again with, with another, another video. video. Man, today we have a skibbity. No, I'm just playing with y'all, man. Hey, man, y'all relax on the skibbity stuff, man. We gonna give y'all a skibbity video, all right? Just be patient. Just be patient. There's a reason why we doing it's what we do. It's in our back pocket. You know what I'm saying? Just, just be patient. Oh, pipe down. Pipe down. Other than that, man, man, we back at again with another video, man. We got another watch data video for you, know, because y'all know y'all love them too. Y'all love this just as much as Skibbity's and we do too. So, man, today we are watching how long can you survive eating only blank, blank, blank. like what, what, what could you eat and be good for for a certain amount of days? So we gonna get into it after we give y'all the verse. Interesting. What can you eat before dying? I don't know. Maybe we'll figure out in the video we gonna watch. Yeah, let's figure that out after the verse of the day. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you aggravate me so much! <laughs> Give them the verse of the day. The verse of the day comes from Matthew 5, 14. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Ooh, light. Thank you for saying that. Now let's get into the video. All right, we starting off pretty harsh. Right? <laughs> Bro, why they, they, one, you drank that. You don't even eat that. Um, but I, right. but, so it'll take five minutes for you to survive if all you was eating was bleach, bleach. Eating, drinking, more like drinking. Bleach will poison an empty stomach within minutes. I would think so. Why That's would that? Terrible. Honestly, I'll just have to go slow without eating because I'm not going to bleach unless I'm just miserable, you know? That got dark. Yeah. <laughs> it did. Time the pods, bro. I remember when this was an issue. It, it was a challenge. Yeah. Remember the Tide Pod challenge? At least seven people actually died. Oh, you only that's survived wild. for about an hour. You only survive an hour. What about the people that ate it and was all right? I don't know. They probably hospitalized. Probably. All you lot who did the challenge caused Tide and Gain to get in trouble, and now they have to have disclaimers on their Tide products. Do not eat the detergent. <laughs> Do not! We thought y'all was going no, <laughs> but apparently not. <laughs> Yo, whoever started that challenge is the devil. Oh, cinnamon what? Cinnamon challenge! That was, I did this the was cinnamon also challenge. A, a challenge, but I'm guessing if you just only eat cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> so you can only survive for 12 hours if you ate cinnamon. The go ahead and read that for me. The coumarin <laughs> in this. In, in this could incap incapacitate you, causing, causing immediate, immediate liver, liver damage. damage. That's crazy. Did you take part in the cinnamon challenge? Uh, no, I did not do that. Oh. I didn't take part in no cinnamon challenge, no ACL, ALC, ASL. ASL challenge. I ain't do none of that stuff. Yeah. But I definitely didn't do the cinnamon challenge, but I did see people doing it and it was really funny. I tasted it, it's disgusting. Cherries. So if all you did was eat cherries, um, you only survive for a day. Chewing their pits will release the extremely toxic cyan cyanide inside. The pits? What is it? Like the... Is that the inside of the chair? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I want to know how true that is. You want to try it? No. Okay. Castor beans. Castro beans. It'll take one and a half days. For you to survive if only you eat castro beans Rit bro it's some hard words in this one <laughs> hey ricin ricin and castro beans is toxic and eating about eight will kill you is it on the market to eat right what is that where castor oil comes from castor oil oh they're using your hair yeah i guess so i assume so it's toxic, y'all. Don't put it in your mouth. What you laughing so hard for? <laughs> I just gave up when I seen that word I don't recognize. I don't even know what that is. Me either. Nutmeg. You'll only survive for about one and a half days if you just eat nutmeg. A substance called myristicin will cause... <laughs> hallucinations. Will cause hallucinations and eventually death. Dang. First you will hallucinate and then you'll die. That's a crazy process to death. Could you imagine hallucinating and thinking like Coco is there? 
My dead dog? Yeah. Why you bring up my dead dog for? It's hallucinating. So you could have said Coco's my mom dead. or anything, but you brought up my dead dog. Because they don't. Because Coco's not on Earth anymore. I know, but I'm saying you can hallucinate and see just about anything. I know, but I think it's like more trippy if you see people or dogs. That Cancel her. <laughs> she talking about my dead dog. You like ask him what he used to do to Coco. I used to love my dog. I don't know what you talk about. <laughs> okay, so I did know That's this. That's disgusting. Yo, another That's fun absolutely. fact about my hog. She hates Too Faced. Y'all know when y'all brush your teeth and all the white stuff, she'll throw up if That's she see nasty. me. Like me, she hates the smell of Too Faced. Absolutely. Anything with Too Faced, she hates. So if she has a tube of Too Faced and that's the only thing she can eat to survive, she's I'm not dying. I'm not eating it. it only, you can only survive two days with only eating toothpaste. Sodium fluoride is used in toothpaste and rat poison. Don't swallow it. Rat poison? What are we supposed to use? <laughs> I did not know that was in... What the? Rat poison. No, so that's used... So the same thing that's in toothpaste is in rat poison. Yeah. So don't even get rat poison. Just get toothpaste to scare the rats away. <laughs> I don't even like when toothpaste touches my fingers. Y'all, this it's is disgusting. She throws, she be like, I'll be brushing my teeth. She be brushing her own teeth and she's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I have to do it. <laughs> like she's about to throw up when she's yeah. brushing her own teeth, bro. Like putting toothpaste in your pimples, that that just sounds gross. Yeah, I know, I've done that once or twice, but usually I would do soap and yeah, it's yeah. gone the next day. Can't relate. She can't relate. <laughs> urine. Oh. You only survive drinking urine if you only drink urine for two days. It may be a last resort, but you could only sustain two days drinking only pee. Yeah. I don't That's think gross. I'm gonna do that. I'll probably do that for one day. That sounds real nasty. Maybe two. Maybe three. <laughs> so if you only ate salt, which is disgusting. So salt do be making stuff taste good, but just to eat it is ridiculous. So you only survive two and a half days. It will be difficult to stomach and a couple of days you would see death. Yeah, so. Yeah, well. I can see that. Don't don't freaking eat salt to survive. Ah. You'll survive for three days only eating human flesh. Within two days, deadly Kuru disease would set in. You know, everyone makes the jokes if you're like alone with someone and you're stranded on an island. Yeah, <laughs> and you yeah, start yeah. to eat other people. Yeah. Well, you're only gonna survive for three days for doing that, but hey, it's more than two and a half days with salt. <laughs> right. So hey, uh, but yeah, eating the human flesh is wild. That you're a zombie, mm -hmm. literally. You will only survive four days eating Brazil nuts. <laughs> 50 of these nuts contain deadly levels of selenium. What the freak is that? I don't know. That sounds deadly. And why would you even have Brazil nuts with you? Where do you even get that? Brazil? <laughs> cooking oil. You'll only survive for five days only drinking cooking oil. It causes severe digestive issues and eventually a heart attack. Mm. <clears throat> cooking oil. Sir, if you're bringing cooking oil with you, that means you gotta have other stuff with you. <laughs> I think cooking oil, just bringing cooking oil is a very wild tactic. Mm -hmm. But if that's the only thing with you, hey, five days is a long time. It's a little sun, sun you know what I'm saying? So you get drink, drink it a little bit. It says eventually a heart attack, not guaranteed. Yeah. You will only survive for six days if you just ate ants. As soon as you eat the poison ant, you're a goner. Did you ever eat ants growing up? No. You said that like you did that. I think I've tried an ant before. Y'all heard her a ant. That means she probably ate several. <laughs> she probably no, I just think it was like just one. I think it tasted spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who the freak did I get engaged to? <laughs> you ain't never told me you ate an ant before. Yeah, I think I have. You know what I used to do? I used to pour water on the ants and watch them all scream and run away. Oh. Yeah, I used to... I'm Godzilla! <laughs> <laughs> but I never thought to eat them. <laughs> you sound psychotic. You say you... You killed the ants. You lucky you didn't get a poison ant or you wouldn't be... <laughs> You're a goner. I would have been a goner. I'm Ooh. sorry. Honestly, if raw chicken's the only thing available, I'm eating it. But you only survive a week. 
if you ate raw chicken. Are you about to throw up now that of the thought gross. of it? Salmonella is deadly, and raw chicken is a carry of it, especially after it spoils. That's disgusting. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna take that week though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think after a day of eating raw chicken, though, you probably go through food poisoning already. Hey man, if it's my time, it's my time. But I'm gonna go out the right way, <laughs> eating salmonella but the chicken. Okay. Tree bar. Can't we see this in another one? Yeah, we should compare to make sure that their data is accurate. So it take 1.1 weeks if you just ate tree bark. Uh, a survival tactic. Clearly not. Nobody wants stomach splinters. I said that. Yeah, that's wild. I'm not eating tree bark, bro. Yeah. I'll eat the trees on the tree bark. The, the leaves. leaves. <laughs> Vegetarian style. Chewing gum. So. Whoa. You only survive for one and a half weeks if you only eat chewing gum. Sam Jenkins died from brain damage after eating too much chewing gum. Dang, Sam. Who is that? I don't know, but they said his name like he's important. Did you ever swallow your gum? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's still digesting to this day. Ew. Just slowly swallowed it like last year. <laughs> How much gum was this man eating? Yeah, exactly. Go, 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 Every go, day. Go, 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 when he sleep. Go, 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 go. All the time. Like that's annoying. Like he, imagine hearing smacking all I the know. time. He had to have swallowed it each time as well. Yeah, he had a problem. If you eat hair, you'll survive for one and a half weeks. Mm -hmm and unremovable internal blockage would quickly develop. What the heck does that mean? Oh, that's what that is? Yeah, I don't think eating hair is a good idea. I think that was on like My Strange Addictions or whatever that show was Someone called. ate was hair? TNT or Someone ate their own hair? TLC, yeah. Ooh, that's nasty. They ain't got no food? No, I think it was probably like a, like a coping mechanism or something. I, I about throw up. You know, when you eat and you be like, Ew. I heard about this. I heard pumpkin seeds could kill you. Dang. You uh, only survive two weeks if you only eat pumpkin seeds. Gaseous distension would lead to bad constipation. You die on the toilet. Oh my goodness. Whoa. So you. Oh, oh, yeah! Christian needs complete silence when he's on the toilet. Why are you telling him my business? <laughs> huh? You told him my business. Yeah, but you don't need to tell him my toilet business. <laughs> it don't matter. I like complete silence. I can't do it if I know someone in the room next to the toilet. I can't use it in no urinal. I can't do no number two and if someone's around. I need, I just need nine of thought that no one's around me while I'm doing the number two. All right? Cause then it won't come out. <laughs> I don't know why my mind is just set up like that. I can't control it. I can't control it. Isn't it so interesting how your mind and body is so yeah. connected? That right? Way? Cause it's like when I was using it the other day, I can hear you through the wall in another room, and I was like, you gotta go. <laughs> I, can't, I just can't physically. You gotta turn the TV on or something. But there gotta be some noise where I know you can't hear me. That's what it is. Yeah. I think if I do something, you will be able to hear me. Yeah. I or don't, just another person. It doesn't necessarily happen. Yeah, I don't need you working. You hear, ah! I'm going to be embarrassed. Yeah, I don't care. We was talking about pumpkin seeds. <laughs> Sloppy. Oh, yeah, this would be your weakness. Two and a half weeks. Wow. So you were to five, two and a half weeks if you were to eat coffee. Coffee after coffee after coffee would cause a heart attack in a short time. I sure believe it. I mean, I don't even like coffee like that. I just like it for the experience. You drink it pretty often. Going, I never finish it though. That is true. Or I save it until the next day. <laughs> Very true, I will give you that. I don't understand that. Like I said, I like going to a coffee shop for the experience. Understandable, I got you, I got you. <laughs> oh, that, that's that many Bang, things. there we go. So it, if you was not to eat anything, straight up air, you will survive for three weeks. The longest someone has gone without eating is shockingly 382 days. That's over a year. Bruh, how? I have no idea. You talking about that whole Both. year, ain't no one brought no food? You right. must've been stranded somewhere. Could you imagine? It's like, oh no, thank you, I'm fasting. Oh. How long? <laughs> 382 days so far. <laughs> 
Jesus did it for 40 days and you doing it for 382? Jeez Louise. You're trying to be his record. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you did that about 50 days ago. 60 days. All right. Okay. This is the thing I would go to. Yeah. You'd only survive for three and a half weeks if you eat grass. Cows need four stomachs to digest this stuff. You won't stand a chance. Four stomachs? Oh, so it's hard to digest? Well, I only got one, so it's going to have to right. do what it do. Cow's milk. Milk. You survive one month if you just ate, um, um, if you just drunk cow's milk. High in fat, your body would be overtaken by diarrhea. You know, I'm wondering if it's going to be like feces that's going to come up. Oh, poop. yeah. If you eat your own poop. I'm sure, I feel like it's gonna come up. I see hunting rabbits. You only survive for a month if you only eat rabbits. It's very lean meat. You need some fat to survive. Mm. I don't even know how you gonna catch a rabbit, one. How's that gonna work? Cause them junks are fast. Yeah, they are. So good luck catching one. Give me all that bacon. So it, was, it will take you 1.2 months to survive if you only ate bacon. A firm favorite, but the heart isn't a fan of it too much mm -hmm. of this. That is very true. We eat like more turkey over here, even though I had some ribs today. <laughs> it was good. I don't eat much of that though. But yeah, bacon, okay. Yeah, bacon is kind of crappy. Don't freaking clog your arteries. Yeah. Just eating that. Plus, you get tired of that eventually. Yeah. But hey, I guess it's better than starving to death. <laughs> You'll survive for 1.4 months only eating multivitamins. Overdosing of vitamins won't make up for lost food. Mm. I don't even sense. think you can overdose some vitamins. There's this one comedian, a dude was talking about how he tried to overdose some vitamins and he's like, What happened? Did you get healthier? I love it. <laughs> He That's said, what funny. happened? Did you get healthier? So I, I didn't even think you could do that. I yeah. guess you could get really sick though. Yeah. And it could mess up the insides. Banana. You know what? Banana. <laughs> Go ahead. You'll survive for one and a half months if you only eat bananas. Death by potassium, most definitely if you ate six or seven bananas every day. Oh. Bruh, any, as you can see, anything, any too much of anything could hurt you. Right. It don't matter if it's fruits, vitamins, water, <laughs> or bacon. Or yeah, even water. You can drown if you drink too much water. Right. Inside, you can drown yourself, which is wild. So anything of any too much is just could kill you. Unless it's Jesus. Amen. Can't get nothing, never. That's the only thing you can get. <laughs> you can't ever get too much of. Amen. You will be able to survive 1.6 months if you only ate carrots. First, your skin would turn orange. Then the keratinemia would kill you. I don't know how true that orange skin junk is. I believe it. You do? Yeah. Why would that change your skin? Because you are what you eat. You but isn't there outside um, the box, girl? What's that disease called that turns you that yellow? That means booty, right? Yellow eyes. You gonna turn into a booty? What? I don't eat you, booty. You are what you eat. <laughs> you are what you, I don't eat booty. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I heard. <laughs> do you eat booty? <laughs> oh, hey, that ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> but you are what you eat. Cause really? you told me when you was a kid. Did you eat poop when you was a kid? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tell the truth. Did you? What are you or talking you about, bro? Shut up. When you were a child. Oh, no. that ain't <laughs> Henry. What did you eat? Shut up. <laughs> what are you talking about, He's bro? Right, <laughs> <laughs> bro, no, bro. It will take two months for you to survive if you ate straight up seaweed. I like seaweed. You didn't tell me you were doing drugs. <laughs> Funny. Consuming too much of seaweed can cause high iod iodine exposure. I don't even know what that is, but I don't want it, so. I think it's salt. Oh, damn. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, iodine, okay, yeah. Don't you be eating seaweed? Yeah, seaweed snacks, but it's dried seaweed. I got you. So you were survive for 2.3 months if you just ate a fruit pie. If you just ate fruit pies, it caused cancer, <laughs> diabetes, <laughs> and stroke. All likely side effects of eating too much sugary pie. Whoa. Yeah. That's wild. That's a that's crazy. Yeah. That was a crazy combo. Cancer, diabetes, stroke. 
That's a wild that's horrible. combo. That's terrible. That is horrible. You'd only survive for two and a half months if you only drank beer. It would take around two to three months for scurvy and severe brain damage to occur. Yeah. Whoa. That's a lot of alcohol to be yeah. drinking only to survive. Yeah. And that's nasty. Who can drink beer like that? There's people that just be drinking beer so casually. Y'all, yeah. um, I don't really drink alcohol. It's pretty nasty to me. So Not that's why drinker. I'm like anti-beer. Cause it's just nasty. Like, how you gonna eat a burger then drink a beer after, or eat, drink the beer while eating a burger? That is disgusting. I, know. I don't like that. You ruining your meal. Get water or a Sprite. <laughs> Sprite. Dang. Cola. I mean, I'll do cola over beer. <laughs> it gotta be cold. But it will take you three months to survive if you only drunk slash eight, I guess, cola. Coca-Cola's name comes from the cocoa plant, cocoa plant and the cola nut. Oh, I didn't know that. Apparently nuts are the things that will kill you <laughs> if you only eat. Oh yeah, you know back in the day, the, uh, Coke used to have cocaine in it too. You know, I remember. I heard about that. Yeah, I remember when people were talking about that, but I didn't, I didn't fact check. That's true? I think so, yeah. They used to put a little crack cocaine <laughs> in the soda back in the day. That's crazy. People drink it. <laughs> Chocolate! Chocolate! You'll survive for three and a half months if you only eat chocolate. Clogged arteries and diabetes are the killers with this much saturate, saturated fat and sugar. Yeah. The chocolate. Chocolate, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my clogged arteries and diabetes thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be eating that junk all day. Dark chocolate is actually good for you, y'all. Yeah. FYI. That just, they probably just talking about milk chocolate. Tomatoes. So you were survive four months if you only ate tomatoes. Eating 50 tomatoes a day will sustain you, but eventually the acidity, <laughs> acidity. Acidity. Oh, English is hard. <laughs> English is hard, bro. What is, why are we, this language is just so difficult. Acidity. <laughs> but yeah, that's a lot of tomatoes. 50 tomatoes a day. Yeah, that is a lot. I'll just eat 49. <laughs> I don't die, <laughs> you know? Rice, yeah. You can only survive five months with rice. You may survive a little longer if you ate the more nutritious brown rice. Well, you still living. All you do is eat rice. <laughs> Just saying, you got a rice cooker. <laughs> you got white rice. White rice. Brown rice. We got brown rice. Wild rice. She eat rice with everything, y'all. She Asian. I don't know if y'all knew that. You like rice? <laughs> nah, yeah, rice in Japan and and a lot of Asian countries. Not all, but in like Asia, where with Japan and China and North Korea. A lot of a lot of Asian Philippines. Countries. Yeah, they eat rice with everything. But obviously, they eat stuff with the rice. They don't just eat rice. Period. It's cereal rice. <laughs> you have rice. You can have rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, that junk is normal, bro. But I eat brown rice because my cholesterol is too high. You only survive 5.5 months with bread. Obesity and heart disease will eventually kick in, making life insufferable. Yeah, the bread of this world. But have y'all ever ate the bread of life as in Jesus Christ? Amen. That you will survive for a lifetime Amen. eternally if you part your heart in Jesus Christ because he is the bread of life. He is not the bread of this world. Period. I have to let y'all know real quick. It just hit me. It hit me out of nowhere. Bread really does fill you up. So yeah, it does. I, I would, I would, I mean. I love bread. I don't even know what I would choose as a food if I wanted to just survive off of it. But five and a half months is pretty long. Yeah, it so, is. So you'll be all right. Breast milk. You only survive for six months only drinking breast milk. Babies are only meant to live off this for six months. It really isn't nutritious for an adult. I thought babies could have breast milk for a while. I could have sworn I seen a five-year-old <laughs> sipping on his mama titties <laughs> for some breast milk. Donuts. So it'll take seven and a half months for you to survive just off of donuts. Dunkin' Donuts experiment with this back in the 60s. It did it anyway. I had to look that up. Yeah, I want to look that up too. Yeah. I think it's the fact that it was Dunkin' Donuts. I know. Krispy Kreme is better. 
Mm. But I haven't had it since I almost threw it up at Daryl's house. Oh yeah. I don't know what what was that on. Was I, weird. I, I just ate the donut and I almost had to throw up. Yeah. So I haven't craved Krispy Kreme since. Y'all ever the fresh donut? Yeah, oh. I think so. Actually, you know, he did tell me he got it like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> this boy, this boy. Dry cereal. Dry cereal is good. I can't even front. But it'll take eight months for you to survive if you just ate dry cereal. Your heart won't like it, but maybe the sugar could keep you going longer. Mm. Apparently, our heart doesn't like a lot of stuff. Right. Eat, so. Why is it the unhealthy stuff that's making you survive longer? <laughs> I don't know. That's funny. What's up with that? You'll survive for nine months only eating instant ramen. The risk of cardiometabolic syndrome would most like oh would make a heart attack likely. I'm not an instant ramen type of guy. Same. I was at when I was at my first uh, Elizabeth City. Um, when I went there, my mom got me instant ramen and I didn't eat it the whole semester. Wow. Yeah. I wasn't. I would be like, oh, I'm hungry, <laughs> and see it. Oh, I'm still hungry. I just didn't do it. But yeah. a lot of college kids they eat instant ramen. Yeah. I thought I'd be the type of college kid to eat instant ramen, but I don't think I liked it like that, honestly. Nah, it, yeah, it wasn't it all the way in. Beans, bro, I'm telling you. Baked beans. Beans and nuts. <laughs> uh, you can only survive about 10 months for, if you just ate baked beans. The intest intestinal tract would become clogged due to the ex excess fiber and little fat. Mm, wow. I didn't know that. I don't, I'm not a beans guy either, guys. I like pork and beans. You don't eat beans. Yeah, I'm not a big beans person, guys. But she is. You can smell it in her farts. <laughs> Especially, she like black beans, pinto beans, bean beans. Chickpeas. That's not even beans. Yeah, it is. They're garbanzo beans. Oh. Great northern beans. She like lima black beans. Black-eyed peas. Edamame. Oh, yeah. Split peas. Yeah, I like the beans, the pork and beans with the meat my mom be making. I like pork and beans, sorry. Apples! Wow, so you would survive a year if you only ate apples. During the Great Depression, Depression wanderers would survive eating only stolen apples. Wow. Hey man, man apple I didn't know. a day. Keeps the doctors away. Low key, it's kind of true. Apples are good for you, but don't just only eat apples. Right. Add in some kale and potato and it's a Scottish diet from 100 years. How about you read what the heck it is? <laughs> You'll survive for one and a half years if you only eat porridge. That sounds actually pretty disgusting. I've never had kale and potato in my porridge. I've had banana porridge from I, Jamaica. I, I've never mm. ate porridge. Mm. I, it's I similar to oatmeal. I've only seen it in movies. There's a porridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we have porridge. <laughs> you can survive up to five years if you only ate eggs. They're good for you, but eventually the lack of vitamin C would take its toll. Five years. Wow. I mean, that's pretty long still though. Yeah, but Five it is. Five years, but you know, time goes by fast, so. So you would survive up to 10 years if you only ate red meat. Animal only diets have been done before, but now the human body demands more. This is literally telling me red meat isn't bad for you. Yeah. So you survived 10 years, wow. I need to fact check this. Right. But apparently they say if you was just, just eat Big Macs, you would survive for 20 years. A balanced diet, Big Macs actually have everything we need to survive. Wow. You know, there's some people that actually are out there that's actually living like this. Mm -hmm. They only eat Big Macs. Yeah. And then they eat a, something else from McDonald's for breakfast, but their dinner is Big Macs, their lunch is Big Macs. That's wild. That's a very wild way to thinking. So if you want to think about it, if this was all you ate 20 years, yeah, buddy, that is all you're going to see. 20 years, because that's wild. Yeah. Cheese. You'll survive for 29 years if you only eat cheese. April Griffiths has survived 29 years eating just cheese. She's all the evidence we have. Dang. Well, what about the Big Mac? Because <laughs> <laughs> if she's all the evidence, then what the heck? 20, she just ate cheese? That's weird. I would get so tired of that. So right? Fast. So, I mean, 29 years of eating straight of anything the same thing that you get tired of. Yeah. Pizza! But we do the same thing. Read it. You'll survive for 40 years if you only eat pizza. The salt content of this holds it back from being the perfect only food. 40 years a long time with just eating pizza, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all don't y'all don't test this stuff out though. <laughs> Right. Cause I don't know how accurate it is, so yeah. Did anything on our list shock you? Leave a comment below. I'm shocked that y'all didn't have poop. Hey yo, what the?
Yeah. I want to know how long you can survive eating my poop. Not yeah. knowing that, not not, not that I what? wanted to be in that situation. You feel me? What about you? Um, I definitely said a Big Mac. 20 years just eating Big Macs is a long time. That did surprise me. That surprised me a lot. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, man, that's it for this video, man. Y'all already know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification. And AG2G, all glory to God. Peace out!